Okay, so here's the second state. Uh, this one's pretty simple also. Uh, third one's a little bit trickier, but let's go ahead and go through this one. So first we're gonna normalize this. So again, we're gonna have our normalization constant here. Uh, we're going to uh, have the inner product with itself, which should equal one. So that should equal one. Uh, so the bra of this is going to be C star, just like before. And that's going to be the uh, bra plus. Uh, so this is going to be minus because we need to take the complex conjugate of anything that's an I is going to be a negative I. So minus 2I and then the bra of that. That's really the only tricky part of this one. Then we have C and then just as is here plus uh, and then plus 2I, this one, and then our minus. Okay, and then so we can pull out our C's. So we have uh, a C star C. We have our plus and our plus, so that's gonna be one. We have our uh, negative 2i and our positive 2i, so that's going to be minus 4i squared. Uh, I squared is gonna be negative one, that's gonna cancel out the negative, so it'll be one plus five. Um, so, again, this is one. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be one plus five, um, or I'm sorry, one plus four <laughs> is going to be five. Um, so C squared is going to be equal to one uh, over five. And then our C is going to be one over square root of five. All right, so then to normalize this, we just swap in our one over root five for C. And it's going to become one over root five up plus two i over root five down. Okay, and then that's our normalized vector. Next part is to calculate the probabilities. So we'll do the z basis first, because that's easier. So we'll do a plus. So plus with our normalized vector here, one over root five up plus two i over root five down. Uh, we've got our plus and our plus. Uh, again, we're going to be squaring this. So our plus and our plus leaves us with 1 over root 5. And our plus and our minus cancel out. So 1 over root 5 squared is going to be 1 fifth. Um, so that's going to be the probability of a, a positive in our z direction. It's going to be 1 fifth. <clears throat> and then so... Next, we will do the down state probability. All right, so that's going to be our down bra times one over root five up uh, plus two i over root five down. All right, so minus and our plus cancel our um, Minus and a minus we have right there is going to be 2i over root 5, and that's going to be squared. So when you square something with an i in it, you need to multiply it with its complex conjugate. So then this is going to become 2i over root 5 times negative 2i over root 5. So that's going to be up top, we're going to have negative 4i squared, and the denominator we're going to have... Um, so i squared is negative 1, so that cancels out that negative, and it becomes 4 fifths. So the chance of it being negative along z is 4 fifths. All right, that's what we expected. So in our x direction, and again, we'll, we can write our um, x uh, in our spin up is equal to 1 over root 2 up plus 1 over root 2 uh, down. And if we flip that and do the bra, it's the same thing. 1 over root 2, but the bra, and 1 over root 2, uh, bra uh, down. And... Um, Go ahead and do that for now. So let's do 
plus in the x direction inner product with our second vector state. Um, so we've got uh, this right here. We've got one over root two plus plus one over root two minus. And then we got our state right here, one over root five up plus two i over root five down. Okay, so we got uh, one over root two times one over root five. We got plus and plus. So um, this would be squared. So it's gonna be one over uh, root two root five, or we can just do root 10. Uh, those will cancel out, those will cancel out. Then we have a plus two i over uh, root 10. Okay, and this will be squared. So in the numerator, we have a one plus two i. We need to square that. So it'll be times one minus two i, remember the complex conjugate. And that's going to be um, one minus 2i plus 2i minus 4i squared. So these cancel out. We're left with 1 plus 4. Again, i squared is negative 1. That cancels out that negative. So it'd be 1 plus 4 is going to be equal to 5. Uh, and that was the numerator. And then the denominator will be 10. So that's going to be 1 half. So our plus for the x direction will be one half. So again, we should expect that we have one half uh, for the uh, down state also. So let's see. I messed this up last time. I should have changed this to minus and I missed that part. So I'll remember this time. Uh, so our minus states, so minus in x is equal to one over root two uh, plus minus one over root two minus. And then so in the bra form, we have one over root two with the bra minus one over root two with the bra. Okay. And so we have that one over root two bra minus one over root two bra down. Okay, and then we have this here, one over root five up plus two i over root five down. All right, a plus and a plus, that's going to be uh, one over root 10. Our minus and our minus is going to be minus two i over root 10. Just wearing this. So our numerator is one minus two i. Square that, which means we get we have to complex conjugate that one plus two i, which can be the same thing as we had before, um, which is going to be one um, plus two i minus two i minus four i squared. These cancel out. This becomes positive four i squared is negative one. Cancel the negative, um, so that's going to be five over 10, which is also one half. Okay, so we seem to have done that right. So now in the y direction, so in y. So our y here was, I should have left these up from last time, but that's okay. Uh, up here in y, let's, uh, let's do plus first, equals uh, one over root two plus minus i, oops, uh, I'm sorry, plus i over root two uh, down, okay? Um, and then so if we take the bra of that, it's one over root two, bra of up. Now we have to uh, complex conjugate this, so it's minus i over root two down. Um, okay, and then we got our y. So then we just have that. We've got 
1 over root 2 up my, uh, yeah, minus i over root 2 down times this here, 1 over root 5 up plus 2i over root 5 down. Okay, um, our plus and a plus, we have 1 over root 10, um, and we've got our, those cancel, those cancel, this is going to be minus, uh, so we've got 2i squared over root 10. Okay, so in our uh, denominator, so this is going to be actually plus 2. We can just get rid of this i squared here. Um, so it would be just 1 plus 2, which would be 3 over root 10 uh, squared, which would be equal to uh, 9 tenths. So plus in our y direction would be 9 tenths. And then hopefully our minus will give us 1 tenth. Got to sneeze. <coughs> Woo! All right. So let's try minus here. And so our minus ket in the y direction will be 1 over root 2 plus, uh, plus um, i over uh, root 2. Um, what did I just do? Um, right, it's minus i over root 2 down. Um, so then if we take the, uh, the bra, 1 over root 2 bra of plus. Uh, so this gets flipped to plus i over root 2, uh, other way down, down. There we go. Okay, so that's what we need here. So we've got 1 over root 2 plus i over root 2 down times 1 over root 5 up plus 2i over root 5 down. Um, we got our 1 over root 2 times 1 over root 5 gives us, um, and this is every time, I've, I've been leaving these out, but um, those are the same thing. So 1 over root 10 those cancel, these cancel. Um, so then we've got plus 2i squared over root 10. So i squared becomes negative 1. So then this sign flips to be negative. And then so we have 1, uh, one minus 2 gives us a negative 1 over root 10. Uh, but then that's going to be squared, which uh, that negative is going to cancel out. And we'll be left with 1 tenth, which is what we expected. So uh, negative in the y direction is going to be 1 tenth of a chance we get a uh, down, down spin. Okay, so then that's all of our probabilities there. And so that's part B. Uh, part C, if I don't erase that there, like I did last time. Part C would be to write this in matrix notation. So this would be the same as doing uh, 1 over root 5, 2i over root 5, okay? Um, and then, so if we were to do that for all of these here, same way we did before, um, this is going to be, um, let me, let's write this differently, um, just kind of mix it up this time around. Uh, 1 over root 2 on the outside, then we have 1, 1. Uh, over here, it'd be the same thing, 1 over uh, root 2. 2 would be uh, 1, 1. Uh, here would be 1 over root 2, 1, negative 1. Nope, not like that, though. This should be a column vector because it's a ket. 1, negative 1. Uh, but here we go. So 1 over root 2, 1, negative 1. We have... Um, 1 over root 2, uh, and this is going to be 1i, 
um, equals one over uh, root two, one negative i. This will be equal to one over root two, one negative i, and one root two, uh, one positive i. All right, so then that's all of our matrix forms. You could also pull out a one over root five there. Uh, just do that just to kind of show that one over root five, uh, one, uh, and then two i, if you wanted to write it in that form. Uh, okay, so we've got, let's do, uh, and then our, our z basis is just uh, in our ket notation is gonna be one, zero, and down is going to be zero, one. Okay, so if we want to do this, in our for our z first let's do plus in z in matrix notation so our plus bra uh, remember we need to make that into a row vector so that's going to be one zero times this right here let's do one over root five uh, one and two i okay so then we have um one times one is one plus two i times zero is zero. So we're left with uh, one over root five. We need to square that. All these need to be squared. And that's going to leave us with uh, one over five. And that's the same thing we got before. So plus in the z direction is one over five. Uh, if we did this uh, minus in the z direction, it should be pretty much the same thing. If just flip this around, it'd be zero, one. And so one times zero is zero. Two uh, i times one is two i uh, times the one over root five would be two i over root five. Uh, so we would uh, square that. So it'd be two i over root five times negative two i over root five, um, which would equal negative uh, four i squared over five. I squared is negative one, so then just that becomes positive four. Positive four, uh, four fifths, that's the same thing we got there. All right, so again, we're gonna skip some of these because it's the same calculations that we already did once, but um, we'll do this last one again. Um, so let's do our down in our y direction, which would be in matrix form uh, is this one here. So one over root two one i times this here, one over root five, one, two i. All right, so we've got, uh, so we can pull out these here. So that's gonna be one over root 10. And then we have uh, one times one is one, um, plus, oops, one plus uh, two i times i is two i squared. So that's gonna become uh, one minus two i. So one, I'll just rewrite it, one over 10 times one uh, minus two. I said two i, I meant one minus two, uh, which would be negative one. So it'd be, um, you know, we're squaring all this each time. So it'd be uh, negative one over root 10 squared, which would leave us with one Tenth, which is the same thing we got there. And yep, that's everything. So that's our second vector state.